to bed again. A bowl of porridge, a lovely cup of coffee. I've just made Lizzie a cup of tea. She's going to watch some friends for a little while. James is on his way back from the beach. He always goes and has a some sort of swim on a Sunday morning. But I'm going to watch some Vlogtobers in bed just for half an hour. Whilst I drink this and wait for the bath to heat up. And do some uh, bit more work knitting. Don't know what I'm doing today. We'll see. I like my porridge like really overcooked. With hardly any milk in, so it's a bit more like a I don't know. What would you call it? Like a flan. <laughs> uh, right, I'll go. Ooh, what a different angle today. Good morning, Patsy. They're in bed. There's your stuff. Are you gonna have it? Aren't they lovely? See that biting over the top of the door? Mr. Bobkin did that. Good girl, lovely. I'm going to clean you out today. Can't see Patsy, can you? Because she's so dark. You can see her little eyes, though. Oh, good girls. I'll see you in a little while. Oh, aren't they lovely? The kettle's boiling. This is my first job of the day. It's my pile of ironing. I've just had a bath and I've shaved my legs with a very questionable razor. It's a good job of having a tetanus. Look at my messy sewing trolley. I've got, look, Dennis is crying about something. I need to sort that out. I'll do that one day and show you. Oh, can't be bothered. You'll have to excuse the wind, it's really blustery. So I've just cleaned the girls out. This is downstairs. Once again, this is Mr. Bobkin damage. Hello, lovely. Hello, Patsy, what do you think? They're just making sure I've done a good job. It's all lovely, fresh Timothy hay. You can use meadow hay for their carpets, and you can use fleece, but I think if they've got the best food available at all times, they'll get nice and healthy and strong and look at them. They are strong. Yeah, so this is some lovely, it's Timothy hay, but it's got marigolds in it and all sorts of other stuff. They're enjoying it, aren't they? That's your carpet. Try not to wee on it. They'll just sit and eat all day. They're quite greedy. I'll show you upstairs. So this is different hay. This is, I think they call it first cut hay or something like that. It's a lot thicker and I think it's a lot better for them. And as they are spending more time in here at the moment, this is what I put up here so they get the best food. And they have it all the way through to the door. I've just got rid of all cobwebs for them. So they're all fresh and clean. I'll be back later to give them some spinach and special, and I said special favourites. Well, it is their special favourites, flat leaf parsley. They won't eat curly, but, um. Flat leaf, they can't get enough of it. <laughs> Lovely girls. The sun comes out and he's back on the bins. Doug! You've abandoned me. It's alright, we'll be back together tomorrow. Look at this. No special favourites. You know what am I going to do? Hello. <coughs> So it's about quarter past five, I've got the oven on for our tea, I'm just now getting all of the jobs done that will need to be done for tomorrow morning, I like to be as organised as possible, um, weekday nights, you know preschool nights so that everything, the kids can just get up in the morning and go. So I've got to make their pack lunches. I'm just dying in their uniforms. I've just got two shirts to do. I've already ironed um, the rest of it, but I just needed to wait for these two shirts to be dry. Oh, I've got a frog in my throat. Did I tell you Jane's taking the dogs for a walk with Lizzie? 
so I'm just getting everything ready. I've already sorted out the the living room. What I like to do is make sure that I'm sat down by at least no by seven o'clock every night at the latest. I'm usually way ahead of that. You've got to sit down, people. You've got to sit down at the end of the day or any time through the day. You haven't got to keep going. Give yourself a um, deadline. Get it done. I do. We've got to do their COVID tests in the morning. Somebody asked me. Whoop! Someone asked me about that the other day. So. I'm not going to show you them being done because it's not nice. They're my kids and I don't find it nice at all. So we went to, we went to the big shop. We um, went to the pet, the pet shop. There were some lovely rabbits there. There were four all together and they were like two bonded pairs. And me and Lizzie both liked one each out of one of the bonded pairs. Look at my ironing board. I need a new one. I use it. I don't know about you. If any of you sew, I think I spend a lot more time ironing than I do sewing. Do you lot? I don't need a new sewing, um, a new ironing board. That was absolutely fine. I've made a cup of tea. Oh, it's lovely. This is one of my autumn mugs. James bought me this one this year for my uh for our wedding anniversary i think it's called autumn leaves it's nice isn't it <sighs> so tomorrow what is this on the eggs tomorrow it is monday and on mondays i clean my living room but because I want to be super, super, super organised, I'm going to do tomorrow's cleaning tonight. I've tidied the living room, but it's not clean. So whilst everything is in the oven cooking, I'm just going to go round and like wipe everything over. believe there weren't any special favourites today in Sainsbury's. I love big Sainsbury's. I absolutely love it but I don't love it when there's no special favourites in stock. Oh right I'm gonna make these sandwiches and then once I've done that I will probably show you my autumn wools that I've picked out to make socks out of between now and the end of November. Right, have I already mentioned this? I get confused, I get muddled up. That isn't a mark on the ceiling up there. I've just got a wonky, wonky house. I'll just turn the oven on. Right, I'll see you later. I've come up to my bed to, um, show you the wall because there's just noise everywhere downstairs so I'll pick these three out for autumn socks so I'll tell you what they are well I don't know what one of them is I know that this one is burrow and saw but I don't know what it is I can't remember I have said what it is in a previous episode <laughs> is that what these are I don't know this one is Biff Sugar Yarns and it's a, it was a November the 5th themed one. And then this one is Ducky Darlings and I know that it's called Catfight and it's based on the book Smoke and Fluff. I'm just going to open them out and then I'll start filming again. Oh, aren't they lovely? So this one here, the Ducky Darlings ones, looks like it might micro, well, I think it will micro stripe, won't it? Now I've opened it up, you can see. Oh, it's just so lovely. It just makes me want to cast them all on. Now this Biff Sugar Yarns one, I couldn't see hardly any of this sort of brownie stuff when it was in the skein, but now I've unravelled it. Oh, it's just lovely, isn't it? 
And this one here, the burrow and saw one. Oh, I just love this one as well. I just want to start them all tonight, but I probably won't. Oh, look at them. Do you see why I picked them out? Do you think that they're... I always say autumn -y, but of course the real word is autumnal, isn't it? I just think they're wonderful. Look at them. Oh, so I don't know what I'd make. I suppose... I don't know. Oh, I just like looking at them. Well, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll have a chat with you before I stop. I'm on the bed. I'm on James's side. He's got more pillows than me. I'm ever so tired. I think it's because we put the heating on. Someone asked if I could say what we have for tea every night. Yeah, I will. So tonight me and James have had some haddock in cheese sauce. Uh, we had new potatoes with butter and herbs and carrots, broccoli and asparagus all cooked in the oven. Well, the asparagus was cooked in the oven. The children don't like that, the, um, the fish, so they had chicken breast instead. It was very nice. I've got into a very weird habit of doing a Sunday roast on a Tuesday night. I don't know why. I'll just have. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be having a roast on some, no, Tuesday night. I don't know why I've started to do that. Tomorrow the kids are all going off to school. I'm going to, well, obviously stay here and work all day. I'm going to carry on with my adventing and probably a little bit more OJ Simpson as well. Tonight we are going to watch... We've, we've downloaded a series, it's called Jinx, I don't know if you've watched it. I don't really know what's going on yet, I've just watched the first episode. So we're going to watch a bit more of that. I think I'm going to put my nightie on in a minute as well. I've got to feed the guinea pigs again. Look all they eat. They can eat so much. I can though, I don't know what I'm... I can eat a lot as well. Um... I don't know what else I can tell you, really. I'm ever so tired. I'm going to try and start reading again at night time because um, I've got into the habit again of being on my phone when I come into bed. Because I don't really touch it in the evenings because I knit all night, I've started to look at it when I get in bed. So I need to pack that in, really. Oh, that tea was lovely that I've just had. Some people call tea dinner, but I call it tea. So I say breakfast, dinner and tea. So I've still got that thing under here. No. Well, you can't see it in this light. Maybe if I sat like this. Oh, I've got to go. I'm talking so much rubbish, aren't I? I hope I've got enough special favourites to last me. I'll have to get James to shop, um, stop at a shop on the way home. We've eaten all those brownies. We've eaten all the fudge. Put it by some uh, whispers. <laughs> right, I'm going to go. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.